Welcome to number eight of the 10 things your friends may not know about drugs. Here's the question. Drugs increase creativity, true or false? False, nothing actually could be further from the truth. Although they do appear to do that sometimes. However, I'm gonna cover a scale of emotions from the bottom of the scale to the top of the scale really fast and I think I can illustrate this for you. At the bottom of the scale is an emotion called apathy. That just means the person really doesn't care about anything at all. You go, hey, how's it going today? And the guy's kinda like, who cares? We're all gonna die anyway. How many of you have seen somebody like that before? Exactly, they just don't care. A little higher on the scale is the emotion of grief. It means the person's kind of bumming, they're kind of sad, right? A little higher on the scale is the emotion of fear. Uh, I'm sure you've seen somebody like this before. You walk up, hey, how's it going today? Most people can make good eye contact with you. The person in fear, his eyes will kind of flick around. They dart, they go left, they go right, they go up in the air. Sometimes you think there's a plane flying overhead and there's no plane. That's the emotion of fear. Covert hostility, this word covert simply means something hidden or sneaky, right? Hostility is very, very obvious. You know, you walk up to the guy, hey, how's it going today? And the guy's like, Rawr! you know, you practically bite your head off. That's obvious. This one is not so obvious. What I'm going to need you guys to do at home is to take a look at somebody in the room and give that person a great big smile. Now, while you're smiling, look them right in the eye. Okay, while you're smiling and looking them in the eye, think all these rotten, critical thoughts about that person, but keep smiling. Now while you're thinking all those rotten, critical thoughts and smiling, say hi. That is covert hostility. It's the knife in the back. It's something you can't quite put your finger on it, but it's something that somebody's running on you and it doesn't feel too good. A little higher in the scale is an obvious one. That's anger. Walk up, hey, how's it going? The guy's like, what? What do you want? Very, very obvious emotion. A little higher on the scale is the emotion of boredom. The guy's kind of, hey, what's going on today? I don't know. He's just a little bit bored. It's a lot higher than apathy, not caring, but it still isn't quite up into the positive ones yet. Higher than that is the emotion of interest. If you meet somebody in interest, they'll look right at you. They talk to you, they listen. If you ever have somebody who's a really good listener, generally, they're in that emotion of interest. A little higher on the scale is the emotion of cheerfulness. Person is like up, he's upbeat. He's, hey, what's going on? What do you guys wanna do? Here we go, boom, 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 right? Then the highest one on this particular scale is the emotion of enthusiasm. Guys like, pow, come on, let's go, let's get it done. Bam, 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 bam. Not in a negative way, but in a very, very positive way with lots of energy. Unfortunately, this is what most drugs do. Let's say, I keep talking about this boredom, right? He's trying to relieve boredom. So along comes Joe Schmo, says, here, check it out, try some of this. What it does is it lifts him temporarily into enthusiasm or into cheerfulness. You ever see somebody smoke weed and they start laughing, they start giggling, they can't stop laughing? The problem with that cheerfulness is that it's a fake cheerfulness. Why do I say fake? Well, what happens when the drug wears off? Where does he go next? Usually, down to apathy. I don't know how many of you have seen somebody with a bad hangover from alcohol. Well, he doesn't care. It takes him a while to get moving and slowly he'll come back up that scale, but he won't come quite back to where he was before. In other words, the chronic way he's feeling is just a little bit more bored. But hey, that worked, so shh. He does it again. In order to create, in order to be creative, really and truly creative, the person has to pretty much stay up, interested in life, interested in art, interested in people, cheerful about it, and creative in his work and creative in his life. Drugs promise the person that, but in the end, they simply take it away. That's number eight of our series. I hope that information helps you guys out. So don't miss number nine. The question on that one is gonna be, drugs improve your senses, true or false? See you then. If you'd like to visit our website for more information on drugs, it's www.narconon.org. 
That's www.narconon.org.